just thanking the Lord. I'm 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 just thanking the Lord. He got me through. 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 Everything. Everything. Look, I'm just thanking the Lord. Peace, gentlemen. Peace, peace, peace. Shalom alechem. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, through His Son, Yahushua. It's Uncle K. You already know what time it is. You already know how we coming. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. And if you're watching the video and you are not a supporter, become a supporter right now. But how y'all feeling, though? How y'all feeling on this beautiful day, man? How y'all feeling? Hope y'all feeling good, man. Now, let's get into the video. Gentlemen. A lot of men, you know, just give it all for free. You know, they see a... They see a bad little down piece and they just give it off for free, you know, and I mean energy, you know, and I'm talking for the men too that struggle with the addictions on the internet too. They see it. They see a little bad piece on the internet and they give it off for free. And, you know, even on a deeper level too, you see a baddie walking down the street and you working so hard to get it, but she's not asking you for it. You see, I'd rather let the woman burn. I let, I'd rather let her burn and desire me before I give it all for free. She got to come to me and ask me, hey, Uncle K, can you blow my back out? And then I throw her the application and say, give me your reasons. What's your stock like? When was the last time you got rammed? We need to go through a cleansing process. If that's the case, you need to give me, you need to give me six months of celibacy, you know, all the above. You know, you gotta clean your diet. You know, you gotta start honoring the most high. You know, you gotta get on point, you feel me? Because I could care less about these choosing signals that women give us men that's chosen and doing the right thing. Us men that know that we are made in the image of the Most High Elohim Yahuwah. You know, prophets, prophets definitely know how to blow it back out too. You know, the Most High didn't create men to be soft. You know, and the Most High Elohim Yahuwah created sex for men and women, correct? Facts. So he gives us the ability to blow their back out, right? You see, we don't do things, we don't do things that we were taught on the internet. You know, we go based off scripture, right? You lay them down on their back, you ram it so deep that they feel it in their spine, real talk. And I'm only speaking truth. And I'm only speaking facts. But a lot of y'all gentlemen gotta stop giving it off for free because this is a value that costs a lot. It could end your life. All right, it could end your life. The beauty of a woman is vain. You feel me? So you got to make sure that she's working and wanted the extra mile because when you look at it right, women claim that they got multiple options. If a woman has multiple options, she's a whore to me. Now a man, he's the head of the household. He's the head of the woman, right? So that man, he could have 5, 10, 15 as long as they under the same accord. Right? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Just on how? So, you must understand, gentlemen. You must understand the power that you have. You know, it's a reason why we looking good and smelling good and feeling this good, but don't give it all for free, gentlemen. Let her want it so bad that she just gonna, she gonna rip her her shirt off when she see you. She was just gonna rip her pants off and see you and just drop on her knees like, please just give it to me now. I'm like, I've been seeing you every day coming in this store, buying these eggs. I need you to whip my eggs, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta have a little comedy in these videos, man. So y'all gentlemen can have a nice little laugh, but y'all must understand that I'm speaking with authority and I'm speaking truth, man, because you know, men of the old knew this, you know, 
when you came unto your wife or came unto the, the woman you wanted to take as a wife, you took her in a tent and you laid her on her back and you blew her back out. Real talk. You know, we don't do none of these positions, you know, hitting it from the back, you know, all that random stuff. We don't do no oral sex. We don't do no sodomy type of stuff. Nah, she just lay on her back and she get drilled down to the T. You know, she get drilled down to the T. And half the time, we don't even let off our T because we need that energy. Hallelujah. Praise the most high Elohim, Yahuwah, through son, Yahushua. You see, gentlemen, I'm giving y'all gems. I'm giving y'all pointers, man, because a lot of men run out here and chase, 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 chase. And at the end of the day, the woman don't even care, bro. You know, when you know that you a prophet, fam, you set, you stand in front of women that, that's in relationships with other men and the woman is giving you all the validation. She's giving you all the time because the man has invested so much time into the bosom of the woman and he's lost in the sauce. You know, he wakes up drained. He wakes up already thinking about what he wants to cook for his wife or his little situation. You know, he wants to know what y'all doing for the day instead of him leading the day. He just, he doesn't even get up in the morning before his lady even gets out of bed. When she starts moving, that's when he gets up. Nah, you gotta be up before the sun up. You gotta go out and get that cardio. You gotta go and start creating that business plan, you know, so you can go out there and make, make it happen for yourself. You gotta go out there, hit the gym sometimes at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning before, you know, it's packed and busy so you can, you know, put in that work. But when you work it so hard for the woman, you know, it's 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 not gonna lead to anything prosperous. It's only gonna lead to your downfall. You know, and I say this to say, you know, when a woman comes up to you and asks you deeply to blow her back out, it's gonna be even more fulfilling because you realize you didn't have to, you, you didn't initiate it. The only thing you initiated was your presence and she had to feel it. You had to make sure she felt your presence because your presence is supposed to speak for itself. You're not supposed to worry about how much money you got in your bank, what kind of car you driving, or even smooth words. You know what I mean? We don't listen to no dating coaches. We only listen to the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, through His Son, Yahusha, through the Ruach, Holy Spirit. We only listen to them. We only listen to the true authority. We don't listen to no man talking about, oh, you got to tuck your shirt in like this. You got to groom your beard like this. Fam, listen, nobody told me to groom my beard like this. I've been on this. I mean, nobody told me to, to, to talk like this. I talk like this. Nobody told me to get this shirt from Zara's. I went and I got it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I try to do the best I can for myself because I'm shining the light of the most high Elohim, Yahuwah. And Yahuwah, he definitely is a man, a man of authority. And we got to come to the Father. So we're not supposed to come to a woman and be like, hey, baby, you know, um, you looking real good. Can I take you out to, you know, Dave and Buster's, you know what I'm trying to have a couple drinks with you? Like, nah, fam, this is what you got to do. You got to go to Dave and Buster's by yourself. Get you some Bombay and lemonade and just relax. And if somebody come to you and talk to you, somebody come up there and talk to you, you know? Y'all gentlemen can't go out in places and think y'all trying to mack with a chick. You see, y'all get drained up and y'all realize y'all not getting chased. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not getting chased at all. A lot of men chase too much. And then they realize why they don't have that tenacity, that masculinity about them, that they can just be calm in the midst of all types of pressure, you know? She could have she could have a nice body. She could have a, 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 a zero waist, you know, everything busting, you know what I'm saying? And she still got to ask me for it because you got other men running up to her every single day, liking her videos, liking her photos all day and just not ignoring it. And it's not a fact that you're ignoring it. It's like, as a masculine man that's focusing on the most high Elohim through your, through Yahusha, because we, we go through Yahusha to get through Yahuwah. So y'all better, y'all better recognize that. But listen though, y'all gotta realize like, man, y'all could have hit that already. You feel me? She could have the baddest body, you know what I'm saying? And you got men chasing it. But sometimes you gotta realize you could have ripped that already. And she know you could rip that already. That's why y'all not even supposed to be action. You see, a lot of men that can't rip it, they run and ask for it because they look at it like it's pornography. They look at it like it's the hub. They look at it like it's, you know, one of them websites. They see something bad and they, they trigger it already and they run after it. Though they drop their whole bag for it. Forget that they, they got to pay rent next week. Forget they got a car note. <laughs> Forget that they got to pay for insurance. 
You know what I mean? Forget that they little child need diapers and food. They forget all that, you know, just for to spend one night with, with a chick that, you know, is quote unquote bad. You see, all these quote unquote bad chicks, they know that they can get their backs broken into, but they're not looking for you. You know what I mean? They they look for it. That's why that's why you ask a woman like, has she ever got her back broken out? She gonna always say, not the way I wanted it to. Cause women got fantasies. You feel me? And men got men got desire to always elevate. <laughs> so when you got that desire to elevate, she, come on fellas, she gonna see that. You know what I mean? She gonna see that. I'm trying to tell y'all fellas, man, I'm trying to put y'all on game, man. There's a lot of y'all gentlemen be wasting your time trying to find all these different avenues to be attractive, to find all these different avenues to try to, you know, look good for the woman, you know what I'm saying? You gotta look good for yourself first. Because by you looking good for yourself, you're already the image of the most high. So it ain't really nothing you gotta do, especially if you moving in his will, you know what I'm saying? Once you moving in his will, come on. You just gonna plow it down, man. All right, gentlemen, you know, look, y'all start your day off, y'all give gratitude, y'all do the right things. All right, it's pretty simple. You know, let them fight, let them, let them burn for it. You know, these days women don't know how to ask for something. They think it's just gonna come to them like little babies and little children, you know what I'm saying? You treat her like a little child, she always gonna be a little child, for real. And everybody got to grow up at some point. So y'all got to stop thinking that women are entitled to getting their back blown out just because they look good. They're not matured yet, gentlemen. They're not matured yet. They're still children. You know, they, they're still children. They want you to come up to them and say, hey, baby, you want to go on a Ferris wheel? Hey, you want to get on this roller coaster? Hey, you want to go for ice cream? Hey, you want to go, you know, hey, 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 hey. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Just like when they was growing up and they was, you know, coming up to their daddy saying up, up, up. Yeah, you come to your daddy and be like up, 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 real talk. But I'm not your daddy because I have not got any taxes from you for 18 years, real talk. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, man, yo, look, man. Y'all have a blessed one, all right? It's Uncle K, Shalom Alechem, peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, through his son, Yahushua. Like, share, subscribe, share the video as well too. And I'm gonna see y'all soon, man. Shalom, peace.